Check me out. It's bad. Hello friends. I am at Camp Blending with my fellow supply logistics people. Not quite sure what the actual name to call them. But yeah, so we're out here. It's raining. We got our gear on. Yeah. So how are you feeling? Excited. Yeah. How are you feeling? Glad to be here. As you should be. How are you feeling? Awesome. So yeah, it's raining, so we got these on. Got my first MRE. Which is used for Kazavac or Medivac? Sweet. Kazavac. Which one? Medivac. Why? Uh, medical. It's medical. It comes with medical equipment and medical people. I'm He's sorry. got it. I'm it's so medical. proud. <laughs> I learned that from you. <laughs> okay, so now we're about to load up the water in the water source. Over and put it in the pot. Pretty straight for it. It's gonna be with those 10 gallons cans back to the building to download. That way we don't have to load them all in and back. I close it. You actually grabbed nine MREs. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, so now we're just chilling. Play at Uno. <laughs> so, life as a army cadet. Because what is he doing? <laughs> but yeah, we just chilling, guys. We're. We just, well, I'm an MS 200 and then the MS 400. Oh, I can't put it there. It's an MS 2. I said 2. You said 200. I did say 200. Hey, roll the clip. Roll the clip. You said 200. Bro. Okay, I did say 200. But I'm an MS 2. They're MS 1s. But yeah, so this is the. What you call this? What you call this area? Bar 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 barracks. Bar this is the barracks. Ew! <laughs> what is he doing? All right. Good morning, tea friends. We just woke up and we are up in action right now. We are loading up the van. Okay. And getting the water jokes ready for so whenever, um, people come in, all of the people here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody's cases, still waking up. This is our area. There's my area with my little rolling chair. Yeah, here's the outside.
silent as a mouse out here, y'all. <laughs> Right now, we are dropping off all the water cans at the different levels. Captain Parker, how are you feeling this morning? Yeah, on the yeah, far side of that tree would be great. Which company is this? Uh, this is the top TOC. Okay. So she's checking out the area right now. And if I didn't mention it before, we're the supply group. So we're supplying all the different companies out here. We don't know how deep this water is. Yeah, there's water on both sides. Just back it on the look. Back it on the Back up to the dry ground. This is just a campground, so anyone could come, or is it more oh, no. restricted? It's restricted access. Yes. Yeah, you have to come in through um, a garden to get access to this area. I think you were asleep when going through it. I probably was. I probably was 
seriously. Yeah. Veterans, veterans can come in. Yeah, anybody with a Department of Defense identification card. Yeah. Even even somebody who doesn't have one can come on if they fill out a visitor's form. Oh, okay. Using to make sure they're traveling the right way, to make sure they're um, sending reports, receiving reports from their hired command. Um, so if they're driving, they can't do that and make decisions about where to go. Yes, ma'am. Like how I'm sitting here, like, looking at the map, telling myself where to go. Yes, ma'am. Usually the tactical commander is the one with the map and like, okay, at the next intersection, you're going to turn right. Oh. Um, so they are guiding the vehicle versus actually driving it. The driver is just driving it. They're just Take it through, responding yeah. to the commands of the TC. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> They're high. Yeah. Very high. Yeah, we on the road trip. <laughs> I did do the other one as well. We gotta do the other side. The, huh? other, the other tire. Yeah. So. Maybe this one. Maybe that one. Oh shoot. I got you. Oh shoot. I'm gonna do that. It's okay. Tiny. Oh. No, I'm just 
gonna bring it. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so we're breaking the sticks right now. Got the water there for them. I think we should be good to try it. It's very muddy out here. Yes. Okay. And kind of, um, so I want you to stand kind of off to the side over here. Okay. Where I can see you in the side view mirror. Yes, ma'am. Um, so that you can help me not go into this big rut right here. Okay. Um, and guide me through this, uh, like, curve right here so I can get back out in the intersection. Okay. Do you mind if I use your Oh, light? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. So y'all got the light on now. Okay. All right, so we're trying it again. We got sticks on every end, everyone. It is freezing out here. It's 55 degrees. Meanwhile, I am used to this Florida weather. and then get rocks yeah like so guys we're currently water. stuck we're hoping someone picture comes the light, the light yeah yeah i got you this oh, one's not this one's not as bad so we're hoping start. someone come yeah, the whole, to rescue uh, another, us another platoon is coming I think it's huh? we're over here by ta she said huh we're by ta <sighs> no cp oh cp It would be great if we had a shovel. Yeah. Should we have a shovel in the, in the so we truck? Keep our eye out as well for the Panthers. They're not going to come anymore. It's too bright. The trains are on the weekdays. <laughs> How you guys feeling up early this morning? Pretty good. It was a Just beautiful a army morning. It's a beautiful army oh, morning <laughs> exactly. stuck in the mud you know in a little dirty sorry no, you on you. Come on. Come on. yeah so we're, we're not moving guys at all Ryan you Ryan you good Thanks for trying to help. Yeah, yeah sorry about that. Okay. And then there's these really weird, long, funnily colored green grass um, that you drive over on the tracks. Can you see me? Because I still can't see you on the Alright, so black truck route.
but I don't, like right now, I don't need him to gas it. Don't mess the truck up. Um, so I will ease it out. It, like, I don't anticipate having any problems pulling it back out. Okay. So. So we're done with all the action now. As you can see, we're stuck out the mud. Now we're just chilling, waiting for people to come in for food. Because <laughs> mm. it's just MRE pizza, y'all. And the one? Just keep folding it. On a scale one to ten. It has to keep folding it. It's a no, two. it has to. Like in order to stay. <laughs> the sand is the best. Nah, I can't it. All right, y'all. So that pizza. He's got, he's got. He's got two legs. It was not good. <laughs> but yes, sir. I got some veggie crackers. Yeah, yeah, veggie crackers. Nice. And, and he has a girlfriend, so I, I didn't have no peanut butter, but. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Wouldn't y'all be considered battle buddies, right? Y'all. Yeah. So my battle buddy has some peanut butter. My other battle buddy has some grape jelly. Yeah. Yours. Now I'm finna make peanut butter and jelly. Sponsor. Right. Sponsor. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I'm recording. <laughs> In my house, like, you need grape jelly. First of all, listen, she's got time to, to edit all these photos. Right. Yeah. Too bad I don't know how to edit yet. It's okay. No. That's good. Sure, but you don't know how to edit either. I know how to edit a little bit. Dude, why don't you edit some bitches? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Stop. Dude, we've been keeping this up for so long, dude. Probably like by the beginning oh. of the semester. Dang, that's kind of nasty. The thing is, like, it doesn't get old, but that's the thing. I mean, yeah. I guess all what you say, because I hate you again. How will you? Why'd you some macaroni, bitches? Oh, no, I don't want them type of bitches, bro. Alright, so we got the jelly. Okay. Peanut butter. So, thick peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can take back three of ours. Yeah, thank you. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. No. Ooh, you're just making the mess. Out, like, who you were. Because uh, you were the extra. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Pobio. Yeah? So, uh, just a bop back with those hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, I got a pizza for you. Thank 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 all right, so I got my veggie crackers with my grape jelly and peanut butter. Oh, what is it? oh, by the way, I just got my braces free tightening on. So. You didn't see that. I didn't. I'm good. This is. 
this is not that bad. I would rate this out of 10. Mm, it's like a, it's like a six. It's a six. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Yeah, these are so pretty. I think we're going to leave these right here. Just to store ice here. Actually, I'll give you the seven. It's a seven. We're back with the gang. Yeah. <laughs> Povio. What would you tell someone who's want to join the army? Who wants to join the army? Yeah, what would you tell them? I would say do your research, figure out really what you want to do. Think it, think about if you want to do enlisted officer, if you want to go right after high school or stick it through with college. Plenty of different options. <laughs> Definitely talk to people. We network. And uh, I think at the end of the day, you can't make a long decision. And you guys heard that. Yeah. Imagine you connect to someone. Thank you. No thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what would y'all tell someone who wants to join uh, the join. army? Join. join. Why? Because. Because why? Join. <laughs> Because join and because for country and money. Uh, Bye. <laughs> All right. Next. I have this chocolate protein drink powder. Ooh. You need to cut your hair very short and down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I need some. Can I? Can I get some water? Water. You have it. Where's your water? I can't. You just take water. No. Where's the camel back? Yeah. I don't know how it doesn't work. It's water. It doesn't look. <laughs> but I can't squeeze water out. Why? That's my blog. Why can't you squeeze the water out? Because look, how do you. We've been in this environment. It doesn't work. Like, how yours is out. Oh, it works. Yeah. 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 I didn't try. You have to put it down. You have to put it down at an angle. Gravity no, when, takes it down. No, I'm saying, like, when you grab it and drink the water out. Yeah, you gotta bite into it. I did. You bite into it. I probably didn't bite hard into it because my buddy's just. Why are you laughing? That's funny. You, you of all people should, yeah. should, should, should be laughing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So into that way. What? You said she shouldn't be laughing? Yeah. Of all, of, 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 everyone here. Oh. Why? Because you do similar stuff like that. So you said put it down? Like this? Yeah, because you... It's, it's gravity. It's not even coming out. Which way? You're squeezing it the wrong way. Yeah. How are you supposed to squeeze it? Like this? Yeah, that way. Oh. It's barely coming out. Look, it's like a droplet. Is this cutting off the circulation? So where is he at? He's out of the field. It's on. Yeah, it's turning it off. No, I'm talking about this. No. That's just a clip. Yeah, because uh, we thought they was cleaning the weapon. Maybe, maybe yours is clogged then. It's not clogged. I cleaned it. I took it all the way apart. Like, like, take it all the way out. Can you try, can you try to do it? Yeah, I got it. That's the only thing in there. Uh, see, no, try to look at the bottom of it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tell me when to stop. I don't know when. See the black line? Right here? Oh, okay. You just gotta okay. guess the name. Oh, okay. Let me see. Yeah. But I, for the most part, I'm not 
I mean, I feel like that's that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. All right, guys. Why are they trying to fix my camel bag? Because it's clearly not me. I'm not quite sure what's going on exactly. Let's check this out. Check, 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 check. Yeah, I'm ready to go to the store because it's right here. Mm -mm. Later. What do you got? You can't do it now? Can you try to fix? Can you try to fix my camel bag, please? Can you try to fix it? The water isn't coming out. I clean. It's clean for sure. I clean this. Did you turn it down? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's It, it, well, it's supposed to go and you're supposed to, this is how you clean rifles to get, so after you shoot it, it expends a lot of powder in the rifle, and if you have too much in it, it's going to uh, gunk it up, and it's not going to be able to fire properly. So what you do is you basically take out all the components and you, you make sure that it's clean. Keep that up for a second. Okay. We might have a clean one. Okay. I want you to check, double check it just to make sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you now, they won't pass over there. Not just one, none of these. Because they're dirty? No, because the way Sergeant Major inspect them. Yeah. Why are you putting them out? All you guys just doing is just looking at them, but uh, no, yeah, none of them will pass. Clean. So a lot of these are actually, so some of them are kind of clean, some of them they didn't even try. Like that one that I pulled out, the first yeah. one, that was, there's a they, didn't even, they didn't even yeah, try. Once you get on. What is like your actual job in there? So uh, currently I'm a signal officer, 25 Alpha. And not sure if you're tracking what a signal officer does. No, sir. We, mainly we plan and lead the soldiers for radio, satellite, and computer networking communications. That's pretty much the, the grand scheme of things. We uh, talk to battlefield. 
based on our signal capabilities so we can provide comms to the war fighter. Filling up the ice cooler. What your civilian job is? I work in cybersecurity for the government. It's a good life. Hey, ah, uh, hey, <laughs> hey, hit it. Ah, uh, go ahead. Ah, uh. oh, oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Compared to the one I just saw, that carbon. Dang. That means it's worse. Yeah. Oh, y'all. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> oh, we just tried to return the rifles, and the man did not take them, so we had to reclean them with a Q2 and break them down. Honestly, I am so tired. I just want a little nappy nap. A little snacky snack. Because them M and MRE, so it's not good. I had tried the taco one. Oof. It was like a 1 out of 10. It was a 1. It was, I would put it on the scale of 0, but it was eatable. Nice out here though. It's pretty. I need a nap. Alright y'all, it's nighttime. We'll be done with supply. Yeah, Luke. <laughs> Everybody else finna go. Navigating in the woods. We got our MREs packed up and our water jugs in the other van. Waiting on our cadre to come back. Good morning, tea friends. We're at Camp Blending right now. Right now, we're just chilling. We're going to have the water source around 10.30. I believe, but yeah, it's a great morning. Everybody's just chilling on the inside right there. 
Uh, it's a great army morning. <laughs> Like, what the hell? You weren't even sleeping. Bitch, I tried to go sleep. Then you say, sleep, sleep tight. Y'all, I'm actually excited about my MRE. They sound like a little bit more. Yeah, but I got some fruit punch. Yeah. Got some. I opened it right now. Man. Let's see y'all taste. I got the ravioli. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just opened up the ravioli. It's very good. This is a 9 out of 10. For sure. He mentioned we'll do leaders become. Why? Why do you think leaders become people? So the leader can pass down to their followers. For example, like the platoon leader can go to sergeant and then more lower and lower so they understand where we need to do. Right. But yeah. the thing with leaders recon too is that the plan can, the plan can change. Yeah. If you so like at camp, usually just to give you a little helpful tip, tip, you know, the first mission in the morning is usually a reconnaissance of some sort. So either area or zone reconnaissance. Those are the two types. So you'll go your first thing, the first thing in the morning. That mission is a zone a reconnaissance of the objective that you're going to hit later that day. So you'll go do your recon, you'll come back, and then you'll be like, okay, now we're going to do an attack, we're going to do a raid or something. And then you'll go do that mission, and you still got to do leader's reconnaissance for that next mission to verify, right? You never want to go into anything not like without any knowledge, right? You don't want to just roll up in there. So, um, so discussing kind of reconnaissance patrols. Um, tasks and standards for the two most common types, area and zone, um, and their actions for the, um, those types of recon. So that's kind of generally what we're talking about. All right, y'all. So you're bringing a, you're bringing a company right sized element. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we, Going you always want the advantage, seven. right? Yeah. Right. So that's a three to one ratio. So you always want to give the un you always want to have an unfair advantage over the enemy because they're not gonna they're not gonna play nice when you meet them on the field. So that's that's something just important to know. Um, most of our engagements that we had at camp were no more than a squad squad size element. Right. But still, like I mean, you have to think like ten people against a platoon. That is still like. It's still a lot of heat coming at you, especially if one of them has a crew served, which many of them mm. did. So, a crew served that would be like a two forty Bravo, okay. like something that takes it, ta it takes mo more than one person to be in it, okay. right? So, that's when you're talking about ratio. So, so good job. Yeah, sorry to go off topic. No, 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 answer. it's all good. So, and so we're talking about area reconnaissance. So, in order to have a successful area reconnaissance. The PL applies the fundamentals of recon to his plan and during the uh, conduction of the operation, so conducting the operation. So that is obtaining required information. So the parent unit tells the, the, the PL what information is required. So what do they need to know? So again, this goes back to like your intel officer telling the commander, hey, I need this information. Why does this all go back to it? Intelligence is important because you need to... You need to know what's going on in order to plan for follow-on missions. <laughs> that was like, I was like, there's Dominicans in the wire, they're coming. <laughs> hey guys, we're on the last few days of this journey at Camp Landon. We're issuing out water supplies and yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, we're also giving out the MREs. As you really see. Taking tallies, taking names, kicking. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's FSC. A million hours later. Still out here. It's, it's dark. Yeah, we're here. Fresh hour, Luke, how you feeling? Right. Huh, hold it so I can be on here recording. Alright guys, so 
So, oh, how are you just going to take the video off, <laughs> off moi? No, I'm kidding. Y'all, he's fired. Because <laughs> he was the cameraman. Yeah, you was over here like. Right, like. Let's give you But nah, I really do hope y'all like, comment, What's and subscribe. You gonna tell him your name? Huh? You said, What's your name? Who? You. Oh, there's a song. Yeah, no. I don't have a name. <laughs> but we're the Rush Hour duo. Rush Hour duo. <laughs> 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 no bending reach. Start your decision. Move. No bending reach. In cadence. Exercise. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Three. Sound off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh. This is your attention. Move. <laughs> yeah, move for real. <laughs> so now we just recording our shit. I'm just recording our shenanigans. Give y'all some socks about the army. So, in the army, in logistics, what I've learned. Dr. Parker. Not here. She's not here. Okay, so in the army, guys, I've learned that in logistics, you have to be quick and efficient. But also, you can take also, also you can take your time. You don't have to rush everything, but it's good to be quick and efficient, depending on the different battlefields. Pay attention to her. Um. What else? What I, think? Thanks. I don't know. What else have I learned? What have no, you, you learned? Tell me. What have you learned? A lot. When is a lot? Too much. No help. What have you learned? That me and God are the best duo around here. That's our baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fabio, can you help me in my video? What's up? Say no, say no, run away, now, now, now. Run away, right now? What's going yes, on? Yes, right now. Because <laughs> okay. they're no Post. help. Um, what have you learned from being in the Army? What have I learned? Yes. Uh, from today, from this from, week. From this week? From this week. What have you learned? From, from what, what this week? Is? What have you taught us? What have you taught us that? Okay, yeah. so I think the biggest thing is um, the difference when it comes to supply and how important logistics is overall in regards to planning missions because um, when you're thinking in context of like soldiers out downrange in a combat environment sure the ones that are pulling triggers is one thing but the people that are feeding and, si and sustaining the fight that's a whole other other one so the uh, importance on that and also the importance of, of giving the breakdown and, and giving matrixes to what people are doing that's also important just kind of um, you know and best utilizing your team so taking your team and trying to figure out what they're good at and how and how they're able to get the job done thanks she was great awesome yeah there you go guys you heard it all right guys today is the last day everybody is moving out coming back from the woods and camp Blandon and get ready to go home this is no they're coming back from the woods, getting their stuff together. This was a great experience for me being in the MS2. I really enjoyed it. And in the video, my knowledge is not up to point because I was an Air Force cadet. And I switched over to Army. And if you all would like a video of why I switched from Air Force to Army, just let me know because I will post it, but this was a great experience and enjoying the army style. <laughs> what? You want to You want to stand outside? Like some type of dry powder. Um, good. Oh, another like tip 
uh, for like wet boots and stuff like that, use the uh, heat patch from the MREs to heat up your boots and uh, dry them on the inside. So take your soles out, you know, the night before, but then the morning after, put them in. Um, I'm trying to think. I can't think of anything else. Uh, oh, get you a sling. Get you a sling. Um, get you a better lamp light. Uh, yeah, just invest in like a little bit better clothing for the temperatures because it, it's, it's ridiculous, dude. Are you, are you and then, like, uh, hot, like, uh, yeah, I got the hot weather top one, but then I got the summer uh, or the normal OCP bottoms because they're better for like the thorns and stuff like that. Because if you wear the summer ones out there, it'll stab you up. Um, but another thing though, zip lock your clothes too. Don't just put them in your bag raw because that's how they get wet. And then you wake up the next day thinking you got a fresh pair and you don't. So, zip lock bag and stuff and roll your things a certain way. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed my channel. More videos will be coming soon. Like, comment, subscribe below. If you want to see more of me. Oh. <laughs> Deuces. I'm kidding. Bruh.